One night, I was having a nightmare where my tooth was falling out when someone showed up. An old woman died because you took too long to help her. Sorry. You need to fix this. How? A life for a life. You need to kill your grandmother. What? If you don't, the wrath of the gods will fall upon you. I'm not going to kill me, avó. You have no choice. Do it tonight or bad things will happen. I woke up with very creepy ideas in my mind. So I called me avó and she came. I told her that my guardian told me to kill her. Yeah. And she was like, Jesus Christ, you had a horrible nightmare. I said I was afraid to go back to sleep to the same nightmare, and she laughed. <laughs> Don't worry, son. Bad nightmares never happen twice in a row. Are you sure? Yes, dreams are just random. So trust me, your nightmare won't come back. Good night. So I went back to sleep, and minutes later... Uh-oh. You didn't kill her. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Where's your faith in me? Hello, brother. What the f***? Be careful with that creature, human. He didn't come to bring you peace. What the f***? He's deceiving you with my appearance, but he's not who you think he is. Aren't you supposed to guard me? He has the right to offer you help as much as I have. But he wanted me to kill me avó. I knew you wouldn't. He's evil. There's no good or evil, only wisdom and ignorance. He claims he knows what's best for you. I disagree. Yes, he's wrong. Maybe, maybe not. We think differently. So which one should I listen to? You should listen to reason and your own heart. Learn to balance the two and you'll never make another mistake in your life. You say that like it's easy. Life is not that complicated, human. Are you kidding? There's no instruction manual. I wish life was easy. The easy path becomes the hardest. Be careful what you wish for. I wish you peace and light. I woke up and wasn't at my best self. I couldn't even pay attention in class. It sounded like I had no one to trust anymore. I wish my other self was still around to guide me. It was easier that way. Then one night, I dreamt that my tooth was falling out again. I had told myself while awake to do a reality check if that happened again, and I remembered. So I tried to float, and it worked. Yep, I'm dreaming. Are you the good one or the evil one? There was a time humans treated me like a god. They prayed for my help. You must be the evil one. Didn't you listen to your guardian? I'm here to help you. Oh yeah? Then why are you pretending to be my guardian? For you to learn to use your other senses. Feel the vibration. Stop trying to see with your eyes and you'll see the real me. I don't want your help. I can get your magic feather back. Okay. I once had a magic feather that I could use to write missions in my book of life. The things I write in the book become part of my reality. But as I said in a previous video, a dragon stole the feather from me. Here it is. The dragon didn't even see who took it. I need the book too. You left it in the crossroads. Found it. What is it that you most want? I want to have my other self back. Yes. But I need ink. Ow. Here, use your blood. So I wrote in my book of life a mission for OS to wake up. But this time he would decide to stay and be part of my life. As soon as I finished writing, OS was back. <laughs> Farewell, human. I wish you light. I woke up and tried to contact my other self, but somehow he wouldn't show up while I was awake. But not too long later, I had another lucid dream, and he was there. I missed you. Let's go catch Pokemon. Sure, but first let me borrow the feather. I gave him the feather, and he told me he wanted to write in the book a mission for him to be the player one sometimes. But my instincts were telling me that this was not a good idea. Hey, give me the book. I'm having a weird feeling about this. Don't be selfish. You don't know what's like to be living inside a dream, being affected by your actions. I want to be human too. You want to take my place? That's crazy. I just want to be part of your life. I'll make less mistakes than you. We'll level up faster. No! Give me the book. No! You made me lose my stop game. It. Enough! You stop it right now. He, he started. started. Life is not a game for you two to be sharing a body. Do that and humans will for sure think you're crazy. I will not allow this mess. You need to to learn to be patient. You mean your ass. He is you. You two are one. You decided to split up to not lose your memories and I am trying to get you two back together. But you just made it a lot harder by fighting yourself. Hey, you come back here. Ugh. 
This is not like OS. He's being tormented by my brother. So it's not his fault. Of course it's his fault and yours. He was free to refuse the advice given to him, but he chose not to because of all the anger inside him, which got worse after you kissed that girl on the beach. I don't understand. Your other self needs to go back to sleep before he does something stupid. And since he's you, I imagine it won't take too long for that to happen. <laughs> Stop crying. You still have the feather. You can fix this. So I used my own tears to write in my book of life that OS should go back to sleep. Did it work? Yes. And don't be sad. Your other self was an important part of your childhood, but you are growing and kissing other humans. It is time for you to start looking for some other part of you that is still lost. This is so confusing to understand. You should attend our classes. Hopefully it will help to understand things better. Like a school? I will pick you up when you're ready. I wish you peace and light. At least I still got the feather. You thief! F Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I talk about the day I went to dream school. So make sure you subscribe to not miss my stories. There's still a lot for me to share. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment. If you came from Reddit, please upvote to help spread this channel so I can keep making videos in my spare time. Thanks for watching. Bye!